Hello, folks. This is Alexander Hagen. I am the CEO of a medium-sized tech company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst and a financial journalist and a research engineer in telecom. I want to speak to you tonight regarding uh, the Peru election. Recording in progress. So first of all, sort of a map of what's going on in South America. So Chile, although it has a conservative government now, has uh, voted for a constitutional convention um, that is two thirds progressive in its delegate makeup, meaning left leaning or rooted in working class power, everyone would describe it. Argentina has a non neoliberal government. Um, uh, so it's an independent uh, left leaning progressive uh, leadership. Bolivia managed to reclaim their um, Puri Nacional, uh, uh, you know, multi ethnic state after uh, this attempted right wing coup. Uh, they restored it with the new president, former economics minister Luis Arce. And now Pedro Castillo has apparently won in Peru. Uh, so uh, this whole area is now a leading progressive. Uruguay um, has been progressive right now, they're more uh, center right. Um, but certainly um, not hostile to progressive movements, particularly. Paraguay had a, a coup against a, um, a kindly um, uh, cura or priest who had been the head of the country, and uh, the, they created a uh, alto golpe there uh, by impeaching him. Ecuador has a horrendous right-wing government. Colombia has a horrendous right-wing government. But they're on the way out. Uh, so it's good news there. now. In terms of dealing with the election in um, Peru, so this map that I made of Peru, the orange is uh, moderate support for Castillo. Um, the uh, reddish hue is very strong support, over 70%, really 80%. Uh, for Castillo. Um, and then the yellow is 50 to 55 percent in favor of um, Fujimori, which are these are two Amazon regions. Um, and then uh, Madre Dios, I still have to add, of course. Uh, and then so basically the only area is that um, Fujimori won uh, strongly uh, or even moderately uh, are the coast around Lima and up in the north towards the border with Peru, uh, in particular, uh, La Libertad, uh, La Valleque, Yura, and then um, I will enclose in this report, uh, this actual, um, let's see if I can find this, Peru, here we go. So here's the actual uh, ballistics of the statistics, the, uh, the performance of the two candidates. So it's a great day uh, for um, for the uh, progressive movement worldwide. Uh, this is going to really create a lot of momentum towards a progressive direction for Latin America. Uh, so we'll just uh, conclude there for the moment. Uh, my name is Alexander Hagen. Uh, good night and good luck.